Hi, thanks so much for stopping by. This is Amy. Hope you're having a good day. Um, today I'm going to show you how I paint an azalea flower. And I'm going to start off with using my uh, berry wine, wicker white, thicket green, forest moss, and a tad bit of school bus yellow. I'm going to use the number eight flat brush, a scruffy brush, which I believe is a 12. My thin little liner brush. I'm gonna remove the knife because I'm not actually using that. But basically that's what I will be using. What I'm gonna do is start off by using the scruffy brush and I'm going to pounce out an area with the berry wine and this will be for my first azalea now when, I, when I'm doing this the paint does kind of dry quickly so I have to really work it fast. And I'm just kind of trying to do just a kind of a wide paddle with a little bit of squirrely in it. A little bit of wiggling. Now I will change my paper around, so I'm trying to make sure that excuse me. That I stay in the viewing area, hopefully. And I'm just kind of pushing down on the brush, doing a, a tip, but still trying to keep it fat. Kind of a fat little petal. Just kind of wiggling it just a little bit as I do it. In the center, you can just go like that if you want. And if you wish to clean this up a little bit, you can go back over it. Maybe even add some more paint to, to the petal. Again, just trying to keep the petal kind of fat, not a thin petal. I have a tendency to want to make them thin instead of a, a flatter, wider petal when I'm doing this type of a flower. And it's easy when you're doing it on paper. This is black cardstock. And I thought maybe it would be easier for you to see the strokes and the designs by using this color it would show up better and like I said you just kind of go over the center if you wish I'm doing it as a five petal flower and again if you want to clean up the edges you can do so just kind of going back over them a little bit or add more paint to your brush all right, so that's the first bud. And then I'm gonna pounce on some more. I'm gonna add another open, open azalea. It looks like I got some paint down here. Sorry about that. Since this is just for the purpose of the video, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more of the wicker white. And then just, like I said, try to push and keep my petals, the fatter petal, not too thin and pointy. And just push down, make it wide. And then I just keep turning the paper. It's one thing about when you're painting on an object and not walls, it's easier to do because you can actually move with the item around as you're painting it. I guess when you don't like that look, you can go like that and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. I think what it is is I'm getting it on my fingers. I'm sorry. So 
no one ever said I was a neat painter. Okay, just like I said, just keep pushing your brush down and just wiggling it a little bit. And like I said, whatever surface you're painting on might be a little bit, like the contact paper is a little bit easier to move the paint on because it is so smooth and, and soft. You could use a bigger brush too if you wanted. <clears throat> I just kind of like this brush size, so I'm gonna stick with that for the whole project. Alright, get close to being done with the flower petals. Too worried about that because I'm going to be going over it with this next petal. Now you could add when you're doing this. You could add um, something that would allow the paint to stay a little bit wetter, a little bit longer. But for the purpose of of this demo, I'm just doing doing it this way. All right, now I'm gonna add some little uh, buds up here. I like to do odd numbers. So just for the record, that's why I tend to do what I, the way I do my flowers. And that's just, like I said, that's my preference. And these are just going to be, you know, little buds. I'm not quite open yet. There's different ways to paint the buds. We'll just leave them like that. Now, on the center part of this flower, you could go back over the center and do the berry wine and white and give it more color on the inside. I'm going to use my liner brush and just kind of go through and add, add it just very lightly with the liner brush. It doesn't need to be uh, real specific. I mean, if you want it to be, you can. Like I said, I, I just like it to be just real kind of natural as much as possible, not real precise. But that's my, the way I like things to look. So if yours into having it to be more, um, you know, like I said, precise or have to be perfect, then by all means, create it. It's your artwork. Create it the way you want it. pretty simple. Like I said, with this, I probably could do some flow medium with it to make it flow a little easier. I think you get the gist. The next thing I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is add just some freckling to it. Now 
I'm just doing this to the to the open ones and not trying to get inside the closed buds. It's not really necessary. You know, and some can have more than others. Like I said, it, it's just really kind of to give it some interest. All right, and then I'll just go back over. Now you could lighten this up if you wanted to, but I'll just go back over uh, with it. Just add in some freckling to it. And you can add a lot of freckling if you want. You know, or actually you could just do freckling and not even add what I just put on here. If you just wanted to leave it. Okay, so I'm just sporadically doing it. Just very quickly. I guess when you're doing it, you might want to slow down and and do it. I personally am sorry, I just don't like really long videos. I don't like to watch them myself, but then I don't want them to be too quick where I can't really see what somebody's doing. Hopefully I'm getting getting this on paper, or on the video, I mean not paper. Obviously I'm getting it on the paper. You can do more, you know, spread it out or just have it on some of the petals. All right, so then my next thing I'm going to do is put the stamen in. And I'm gonna do that. I am going to put in five. When I'm doing mine, I kind of like them to be the number of petals. I don't know if that's accurate as far as the science of, of a uh, flower or not, as far as how they're actually created, but that's how I like to do them. They might have six, and they might just have five, I don't know, I'm not sure, really never examined one, I will be honest with you on that. All right, I'm going to go back in. So I do want to make, make some interest here. Just kind of flow the moss green in here. This is the thicket green I'm using. And then some moss green just to make it show up a little bit better. And then what I'm going to do is go back in. A little bit more forest to this one here. Go back in and this is when I'm going to use the school bus. I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow here, just you know, so it shows up because really the basis of this flower is the burgundy and the um, the white. So when I go back in and, and do this part to the flower, you'll be able to see it a little more. And I'm just doing just kind of a just a quick switch. See, so, yeah, like I said, it kind of blends in with we'll helping that out a little bit more. But the yellow helps make it show up, too, a little bit. And it's just like, it's just a quick little swipe across each end. And then there you have, have those flowers. All right, so then my next part is going to be adding in the greenery. I am not cleaning out my brush in between, just so that you know. And I am going to do this using more or less just putting the berry wine, I'm sorry, not the berry wine, but the forest moss and the thicket all into the brush. I'm just kind of doing a little swirly. Do a little swirly here. And I might make this just a tad bit thicker and just keep it thin towards the end thin and flowing 
All right, so let's go ahead and add a continuation here. I'm going to make it look like it goes up through here and then draw my little additional uh, lines for the viney part. All right, and then up here, I'm just going to, now you can just do kind of like a one stroke. It's a quick little pull kind of thing. Or you can, a lot of times I do this kind where I go like this and down. So however you want, I kind of like the look of this better. I tend to get a little fat though, unfortunately. And I'm connecting into my lines. Well, I like the look of it. I think it's pretty. You can do maybe a little bud here. Add some little leaves. And again, with, with doing the leaves, it's just kind of, you can put little little lines in them if you want for their veining. I'm not going to do too much of that right now. And then on this part I am going to do just a, just a couple of those. Just push and pull. And these are a little bit bigger than just a regular I'm just put a light little stem in there. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do more of a wiggly kind of a leaf. And basically on this I'm just touching. I'd like to do a few little strokes there. Do it and then just kind of, or you can just smoothly bring it back if you wish. And then just put the, the little stem up in there. And then basically I'm going to do another bigger petal over on this side, or leaf I should say. It has a little bit of the pink one on in it, which I think is pretty. I guess then you can do, you know, just add a few more leaves if you wish. we're going to leave it at that. I think it looks good just as is. Like I said, I apologize for my fingers having paint on them. Um, again, I'm not the, not the neatest painter in the world, but looks like my camera moved a little bit. I'm sorry. I have it hanging and it tends to want to move on me. Now it's going to try to make you feel like you're Dizzy. All right, so there we have it. Now this kind of a this kind of a design can be painted whether you want to paint it on, you know, glass or canvas. You know, it's not just something that needs to be painted and hung on a wall or furniture. You know, if you're doing some kind of fun refinishing adding some florals to it. I love florals, so that's basically what you're going to see me paint. I'm not really into landscapes and that type of thing, so I'm sorry, but this is what I love. And there you go. So I hope that you enjoyed my brush strokes, my freestyle painting. If you did, please subscribe to my channel like this video and share it. I would appreciate it. Also remember to hit on the bell there that you'll see below so that you will get notifications whenever I am doing a new video. And until the next time, I appreciate you stopping by. Have a good day.